Oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, bloody hell. Let me get comfortable. Hmm. Right. It's better. Okay, so hello. Back again. Keep saying that. But yeah, back again. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about my birth story. Oh, mate, I'm so buzzed with this. I absolutely love talking about my birth story. And when, so... When my friend, my first friend, who had a kid, um, she would talk about her birth story, and obviously I, I'd enjoy hearing it, but I'm thinking, like, it's not that much of a big deal. And then I had a baby, and then we compared our birth stories, and oh, it was the greatest moment ever. And like my best friend, she had a baby four months after me, and I was like, I can't wait to talk about your birth story. I loved it. And then Hannah with her birth story, I was like, I can't wait to talk about your birth story. Oh, I love talking about my birth story. So yeah, anyway. So, my birth story. Oh, I just lost a bloody another nail. Fuming. Oh, they need doing anyway. Look at them. I lost this one as well, but look at them. They're so, so done. Getting them done Friday. Wee. But yeah, anyway, so my birth story all started. Well, actually, I'm going to give you the whole rundown. So basically, I used to live in this house and when we was waiting for this to come like this house to go through i obviously was pregnant we literally moved into this house on the day before my due date we moved in on the 4th of october Maisie was meant to be born on the 5th like full-blown nine months pregnant moving like carrying drawers and stuff and i'm gonna say this now all these old wives towel old, old wives old wife oh my god old wives tales about bringing the baby like making the baby come it's a load of ball mate none of it worked i tried everything apart from sexy time but i tried everything i was so active like i was walking everywhere full-blown pregnant i was moving stuff i was literally in the middle of packing my house up i was carrying drawers up and down stairs obviously you don't advise that it's not the best thing to do but i'm hardcore um yeah i was eating so much pineapple i was like spicy foods everything i tried everything and to be honest the day i went into labor i did eat a bombay a bombay bad boy pot noodle and then for dinner i had like some i can't remember what was for dinner but i put loads of nando's hot sauce over it don't believe that was the reason why she came. i think she's just ready to come but yeah so we moved in this house on the 4th of october she was meant to be on the 5th we knew she wasn't coming it was a nightmare and um another little backstory we brought a new bed to come into the bedroom we brought a king size bed turns out the king size bed was wet because how our bedroom is we can't have like the way our bed is that's the only way we can really have our bed so we can have more room um the king size bed took up the whole room pretty much like we had no walking space at the back so we had to sleep on the floor in the mattress which is incredibly hard to get up and down if you're nine months pregnant. And I needed a wee like every five seconds. So it was a nightmare. So the day we got our bed, the day I went into labor, oh, I was, I was fuming. So, right, so five o'clock comes around, like five o'clock in the evening on the 11th. And I started get to, getting a bit of pain. And I was like, oh, Holly, this don't feel right. He was like, oh, all right. Okay, well, I'm gonna go golf now. Honey went to golf. Brilliant, mate. Now, nah, to be honest, it was fun. Like, obviously, I didn't go into labour that night. Well, I didn't go into labour then anyway. But yeah, so I started to get some con contractions. Wasn't sure if it was contractions or not. So I called the midwife and I was like, oh, yeah, it might be, but just keep an eye on it. I was like, all right, yeah, fair. And then hours passed, like, it was all fine, it was fine. And then we highly were setting up our bed and I was trying to help. He's like, Paris, you're literally just useless right now. Just go away. I was like, all right, can't really do much, can't really move. And then it all started like midnight um, on the 11th. Well, technically the 12th. It was horrible. My contractions were, so, there was constant, like I never had a break. So I, oh no. Well, yeah, I reckon it was about midnight, but then we went down to the, um, like the hospital where I had her. And they was like, oh, well, you're only um, like, 
oh I wasn't I wasn't that much dilated I can't remember how many like how much I was dilated and I was like so we can't really do anything we'll give you some cocodamol and oromorph didn't even touch the surfaces mate that stuff is useless absolutely useless but yeah so we come home Harley's asleep with the cat literally all cuddling up with the cat on the bed I'll try and add the picture in and there's me literally crying constant like oh my god i can't do it oh why yeah why don't we always say that as well we can't do it we have no other choice we've got to do it but yeah so there's literally me because my contractions were non-stop like i couldn't i couldn't everyone's like yeah but they they come hard and fast and then they slow down bullshit mate you don't you don't work like that but yeah so so they was constant and then they're like oh get in the bath oh, i hated that advice hated that advice and obviously you then go and give that advice to pregnant people and they're thinking it doesn't do it does nothing take some paracetamol that does nothing as well useless but yeah so i was in the bath and i like was in and out of sleep in the bath but again it wasn't much sleep because my contraction my contractions were so fast it, like i said it was constant one after the other and I come downstairs and I said, no, I come to Harley. And I was like, Harley, they're getting worse. Like, I need to do something. And then I was like, okay, well, he was like, well, we can't really do anything, but we'll call the, call the WJC. And then um, called them up and they was like, well, it's only been a couple of hours, so nothing's probably changed. And I was like, oh, fine. Obviously, you're the professionals. You know what you're talking about. So then I come downstairs and I put on big mouth to try and... Um, try and like take my mind off it again that weren't working i was pacing up and down my front room like oh my god oh my god literally like uh, crying like this hurt so much i was up against the um sofa i was like this just like, uh, like ooh, bent over like this to try and get comfortable weren't working um yeah literally nothing was working and then called them up again it was five o'clock at this point called them up again and they was like well i don't think anything would have happened bear in mind i'm like texting like jordan like my my pal like my bestie at like this whole time and um i'm literally like this is the worst pain i've ever felt in my life i said that to everyone as well after like this is literally the worst pain i've ever felt in my life i'd i'd have to say do it again but oh hated it absolutely hated it but yeah so and then i remember five o'clock and then i was like okay you're four centimeters now so we can keep you here and then i remember getting checked out um and obviously when when you like know nothing about um like childbirth and stuff and they're like or they're like proper check you out like when get a stretch and sweep because i had a stretch and sweep two days before it's it's not the most comfiest thing and it's not what's the word i don't know what the word is um oh well if i think of the word i'll let you know but yeah um it's not oh i don't know what i'm pleasant there you are pleasant it's not the most pleasant thing in the world so yeah, you've got your legs up in the air and they're like feeling inside of you and oh yeah it's not very nice and obviously their feelings like they're checking you out again feeling all inside of you and they're like oh you're this many centimeters blah 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 so yeah they said right we're gonna do your check over they check the baby's heartbeat and whatnot and then uh there's okay you all done you pull your trousers up and then i threw up everywhere and it literally do you know what it was it was the pot noodle i had the bombay bad boy it burnt on the way up as like it did on the way down. Gross. So yeah, and then Harley's like literally just sitting there like, oh my God, that's disgusting. Like little did he know that he's about to see me push. Well, actually he obviously did know, hence why he was there, but he's about to see a baby come out my vagina. Lovely. But yeah, so um, was sick. And then they was like, okay, try the gas in air. And then on the pregnancy ball, I've got a picture of me on the pregnancy ball back with gas in air. I'll add that in as well. Uh, and oh, I couldn't do the gas and air. Like, you know, when you're drunk and your head's spinning, it was like that. It was horrible. So yeah, had the gas and air, threw up again. 
So I was like, okay, you've been sick a couple of times now. We'll give you this anti-sickness injection. And I was like, yeah, fine. And I was like, what other, whatever medicine do you want? I was like, I don't know, just give me anything. Bear in mind, I said to my mum, I'm going to do labour all natural. I'm not going to have any medication. Nah, mate, I was definitely wrong. I did not expect that. My sister said the same. She was like, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have any meds. Yeah, she, I think she had everything as well. Apart from like an epidural or maybe she just had gas in air. I don't know. But yeah, so then I had pethidine and oh my God, that stuff is amazing. So that like, I don't really remember a lot. I remember like, because I was like, uh, I was again like, like this on the bed, but like holding up here, like sitting there. And then Harley had to, I remember just like going in and out of sleep. So then like Harley catching me if I was like falling. And I remember being like this at one point trying to get water from Harley because he had a straw in a cup. Um, and then I remember just freaking out as well because, oh no, I missed a bit. So yeah, they checked me again and um, went to go pull my trousers out. And everyone tells you, like when your waters break, it won't be like the movies. It's not just gonna gush. It probably might be a bit of a trickle if that, I'm telling you now, mine was literally like the movies. I stood up and it just, gushed it was gross and I was like I got off the bed I was like midair and I was like well obviously not midair I'm not a cartoon but I got off the bed and I kind of slowed down and I was like Harley I think my waters have just broke and it was like a warm goo that's how I could describe it yeah and he was like oh really he was grossed out by everything um and I was like you need to go get a midwife he's like well where are they I was like, obviously out, out there go get them um so I was like oh yeah my waters are broke and then there was like, okay, Paris, you need to go to the toilet. Like, we'll have a check you over. I then started freaking out because there was blood and a bit of poo. And obviously, if a baby poos inside you, that can't be good. And there's like, you might have to go to Broomfield. And I was thinking, I don't want to go to Broomfield. I don't want to pay for parking. Please don't send me there. Um, turns out I didn't have to go to Broomfield because um, it wasn't that much and she was fine. But yeah, I started freaking out because obviously there was blood. But there was like, you've gone from four centimetres to nine centimetres in like two hours. So that's like, that's quite quick. And I was like, oh, bloody hell, right? Obviously not looking for this. So I like, like proper freaking out at this point, like crying. And the midwife was like, Harley, you need to comfort her. She's freaking out. And I was like, hey, the midwife just told Harley off. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then I remember just going in and out. And I, I didn't, I just, you know, when you have like flashbacks, I just remember saying to Harley, we need to get the Russians. He's like, what? And like the black Russians, we need to get the Russians. And then he was like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And the midwives were like, oh yeah, this is just labor. This is what happens to you. So what felt like forever just carries on, passes by, constantly getting um, contractions. And they're like, breathe. Oh no, I can't breathe. It hurts too bad. I literally can't breathe. Um, and then I'm like, she's there. I can feel her, she's there. And they're like, okay, do do what you want, like carry on. And I remember just, I remember pushing and it felt like sandpaper. I think, I don't know what it was. It must be like her hair, like grazing me on the way out or something. But that's how I've described it to everyone, it was literally sandpaper. And she, um, she cut me like, on the top of my vagina somehow. I don't know how that happened, but she like cut the inside. So I had to get stitched up for that. So that wasn't very nice either. But yes, and I remember just like looking between my legs and I obviously once you give birth, you can feel the head come out. That's like the hard bit. And then the the baby just <laughs> literally just out and it just falls. And I remember like looking between my legs and I'm just seeing this like bluey gray baby. And then I'm like, I look at Harley and I'm like, oh, you all right? Are you all right? You've just sat there doing nothing. And then the midwives hand the baby over to Harley and they go, okay, you need to turn around now. Excuse me? I've just given birth. Um, and they inject me. They just inject me. I'm like, what are you injecting me for? And they're like, oh, it's something to get the placenta out. I'm like, okay, well, you could have told me. I just don't want some random stabbing in my leg when I've just given birth to a baby. But yeah, so had to get turned around because obviously you know, I had my knees, I was like facing them. And then I had to turn around and oh my God, turning around was so hard in itself. Like you don't think 
Like, I was so sore. Not like, yeah, I was just sore. Like, my vagina hurt, man. So, yeah, I turned around. And then, obviously, because the way I was sitting, none of the bed was sorted out for, like, so they could sort me out after. So, I had to, like, lay on my back, lift my bum up so they can get the stirrups out. So, I had to put my legs on the stirrups. And then they injected me, like, with this numbness stuff. And that hurt in itself. And then I just had to sit there with my legs, my legs like this, just bottom half on show, everything on show, like legs in the air while they stitch me up. And then, and then you get a cheeky finger up the bum and I'm like, oh, what's that for? Just to make sure that they haven't like, sewed my bum off or something like that. I don't know why they, they've done it, but I'm gonna guess it's that. But I don't know why they've done that because I didn't even tear down that bit, teared at the top. But yeah, so I've got a cheeky finger up my bum. That wasn't very nice. Um, and I just remember like sitting there seeing Harley holding Maisie and oh it was so nice um, and then they gave me Maisie and again that was a nice feeling and I had the picture and that we got I must say that I do look quite good for just giving birth but yeah no that was oh I forgot to tell you I also done a poo I pooed um, during labour I could feel it because obviously when you get told to push and if you've never done it before you don't know what you're doing but I they're like just push down okay well that doesn't that doesn't really tell me much I don't know what I'm doing so then I was like I'm gonna poo I, I can feel I can feel the poo coming I'm gonna poo and I looked at Harley I was like I'm gonna poo and they was like yeah it's fine it's fine obviously this is their job they probably deal with it all the time and I remember going I've just pooed me and Harley looked at each other just laughed and I was like carry on I'm gonna carry on crying now because this bloody hurts but yeah, so that was, I'm going to guess it wasn't a big one, but you never know. I didn't see it. But yeah, no, I remember just, and then Maisie just went on me and we had like a little, oh, my baby. And then they give you a cup of tea and some toast. And that is, that's just, oh, 10, 10, that meal. That's just amazing, that one. That's, and like my, I remember eating the toast and it like hurt my throat because obviously I was like screaming. And that cup of tea, oh, that cup of tea just hit different. Yeah, and then I remember just holding Maisie and like I fed her. She was really good actually because she went like straight onto the breast straight away. Um, and then she would just wouldn't stop eating the whole day, constantly. And it come, so I gave birth at 9.35 in the morning. Harley don't reckon it was 9.35. He reckons they uh, obviously gave birth, they'd done everything. And they're like, oh, it's 9.35. So yeah, gave birth at 9.35. By 11 o'clock, I was like, can I go home now? There's like, no. There's like, we would prefer you to stay in. I was like, oh, I don't really want to stay in. I was like, yeah, but because your labour was only four hours. Four hours for a first labour, quite good. Um, and uh, obviously it's your first pregnancy, all of that. We want to check if you're like hemor uh, hemorrhaging. Is that right? And then, yeah. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to stay in. So I went home at 7.30 that night first trip to mcdonald's and i got a mcflurry because you're not allowed to eat them when you're pregnant so that was nice that was very tasty um and yeah in the hospital i didn't sleep either because i was just scared bear in mind it's a very small a very small place there's literally two birthing suites and i think there's like three rooms where people can stay um harley went home to get me some spare trousers because i forgot to go I just forgot about going for a wee. Uh, I think it's where they like stitched me up. I was a bit numb. Like, I don't know if that's right or not though, because, but yeah, I just forgot to go for a wee and I leaked through because obviously you bleed quite a lot after giving birth. And then going for my first wee as well, that, that stung a bit. That was quite sore. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, so Harley went home to go get me some spare trousers and get something to eat. So I stayed there obviously with Maisie and I went to go, went to go sleep, but I, I was a bit scared to be honest like I didn't want someone to come steal my baby so I just didn't go to sleep and then um so he come back and we was literally just sitting there waiting to go home which was fun but yeah like I said by half seven we went home and then obviously that's when the real fun starts luckily Maisie actually let us Maisie slept for seven hours straight on the first night. When I say she was the perfect baby, 
she's literally she literally was the perfect baby just now mate we're paying for it now she's an absolute nightmare now we love her very much but oh she does test our patience but yeah so that was um that was our first night at home that was my birth story i might have missed a few bits i got quite excited telling got quite excited telling you this um probably talking quite fast as well but mate, oh, I love talking about my birth story. I'm so annoyed I've lost this bloody now. It's literally gone missing on my sofa. No idea where it's gone. But yeah, so that was the birth of Maisie Scott. Uh, obviously the best day of our lives. And yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, a little like and a little subscribe. Thank you very much. But yeah, bye. Uh, quickly because I forgot to say it earlier after you give birth and whatnot which I I don't know how I didn't know this happened but yeah so obviously the placenta has to come out that's why they stabbed me so they can get the placenta out and oh my god that was like childbirth itself because that really hurts and they like pull at it so your legs are all up in the air and they pull it and you can probably feel it coming out it's horrible and when you breastfeed um you can feel you get risk going back in. Yeah, forgot to add that as well. That felt quite weird as well.